Stephen Schaub here, leader of the Fidget Revolution 2.0 here on YouTube. And today we're going to take a look at Portra 400 using a bleach bypass process. The bleach, bleach bypass process that I've been outlining here on Fidget Revolution, which uses HC110 Dilution G as the developer. But before I get into the results, if you have not subscribed to the Fidget Revolution, please subscribe. If you have, Thank you very much. And if you can afford to help support the Fidget Revolution, please visit us on Patreon. Anything you can give really helps make what we do here possible. So let's take a look at the image. This here is Portra 400 shot at box speed um, using the bleach bypass process that I've been outlining here. Once again, HC110 Dilution G as a stand development. It looks really amazing. Um, if I zoom in on it, the clarity around the eyes and the glasses are absolutely beautiful. The sharpness, everything about this is really amazing. So does this work for Portrait 400? The answer is yes. However, it's also a little bit more complicated because unlike XP2 Super, Portrait 400 is a very complicated, very sophisticated color negative material. So the next test that I want to run is actually using C41 Developer and then use skipping the bleach process, going straight to the fix in C41. The reason for this is that Color Developer has really two components to it. It has a standard non-staining black and white developer, but it also has a Color Developer component. The Color Developer component actually completes the incomplete dyes that are in the color film and thus form the dye clouds. So because we're not using a traditional color developer in all the examples that I've shown so far in XP2 Super and now also here in the Portra 400, you're really only seeing the black and white portion of the negative uh, being exposed. You're not seeing the reality of that dye coupler because once again, there's no color developer in HC110. So it's going to be interesting to see when we use a traditional C41 developer, but then omit the bleach because the bleach, we, we, we want to keep that silver in the film and then just go to the standard fix, how that compares as well. I would say between the two using the HC110 process, I kind of like the look of the XP2 Super better than the Portra 400. But once again, I think that's because of the sophisticated nature of the two different films. You know, XP2 Super is not nearly as complicated because it's only producing a black and white grayscale image. It's not having to work with cyan and magenta layers and all the complexities that Portra 400 brings to the table. So take a look at the sample here. I'll put a little more enlargement here, take a look at it one more time. Um, I will be posting this sample image as a full resolution image on the Patreon site. So if you're a sponsor on Patreon, you have access to all these images that I'm using here in the video. But thank you very much for listening. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Now go shoot some film.